I love you. Mike, Chris, yo, what up? Hi, uh, everyone else. Welcome to Trav Talks. And uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to the boys uh, who uh, big things are in store for. And uh, uh, they just uh, teased a little bit of some really cool uh, photos that were taken. And uh, the caption was so exciting, I could hardly say it myself, but uh, something to the effect of uh, coming soon is new music, lots of new music. And uh, man, that that gives me chills to, to think about because I'm so rooting for the boys. They're, uh, they're on my radar and they should be on yours too. If you're not listening to Hotel Ugly, get on now. Get on now. I'm going to say it so nice that I'm saying it twice. Like it's good vibes. And I want to talk about the interview that I did with them because, uh, I've listened to it for now. What is, I don't know, maybe the hundredth time. And, uh, what I've noticed is that there was a lot of bravery and a lot of sharing towards the end of that interview. And, uh, you know, we talked about the mindset of believing in yourself and and not so much just the mindset of believing in yourself. It wasn't like, hey, let's have a, a conversation about the mindset of believing in ourselves. It was more just like, you know, how do we attack our creativity and how do we attack the creative process? And, I, and maybe attack is the wrong word, but how do we go about um, the things that we do? And uh, we had shared a lot and we had talked about believing in ourselves that, you know, you got to you know, what are your aspirations being the greatest of all time? Like you not even hesitating. And, you know, when you have that belief in yourself, it, it's not about, you know, trying to have a belief in yourself. It's just when you get to a point where you're like, Oh, I, I can work hard uh, and I can get there. And, and I've seen the specifics. What is it? What is it called? Like a, a smart goal, a, uh, a specific measurable, actionable, realistic timeline, something like that. Like people who are actually, you know, grinding and not just trying to come what come up with like memes that have bullshit on it, but like actually working. And, you know, it's one thing to be in a microphone, but like, let's be real here. Like, unless I'm willing to put in the work and invest the time, talk to the people, make the connections and do the things that I want to do, which is talking to you guys. It's one thing to distract yourself with whatever it is you're doing projects that you have for yourself, uh, whether that be uh, a diet or working out or uh, finishing your attic or basement or uh, doing something creatively, like writing music, creating beats. Um, You know, we're going to have Baradine on soon. We're going to talk about that. But specifically, though, Hotel Ugly had made the point about believing in yourself and not just saying you got to believe in yourself. It was just what do I see for myself? I see that we can make these different experiences where it may be visual or one of my favorite lines that I say all the time is from Mr. Robot is, you know, you may, people like to act like they don't look behind them and they can see what's in front of them when they're not looking what's above them. And I think that's where Hotel Ugly is at with Mike and Chris. I think that as they like to say, they're really in the pocket on with on their on their way of what they're doing. And I'm really excited for them. And the second point that I think is almost more important is I had asked, uh, I think the question was, how did it go without naming any musicians or music or anything like that? Like, what is your greatest inspiration? They had said passion and love and specifically romantic love. I thought that was uh, interesting to hear just kind of fresh and, you know, going about your business and listening. And then when you stop and you be patient and you kind of lean in and hear what he's saying. And he was talking about, you know, being the main character uh, in your life, uh, in your partner's life. And uh, (laughs) as his brother said, you know, that was fully loaded. And I, I totally agree. And maybe it was said somewhere, but I know that that came from the most original and genuine place. So for all I care, it was the first time ever spoken because that was his truth. And I will never listen to their music the same way ever again. I will know the, uh, not all of it, but at least, uh, some of the inspirations and that makes it more enjoyable, man. Uh, what we do need to go into is talking about their future. They have a lot of cool stuff coming up, a lot of good music coming up. Uh, I'm sure, uh, Uh, I'm not going to promise them coming back on the podcast, but I will uh, continue to to spread the positivity and the message of, 
you know, focus on what your immediate circle is and what you're trying to do. You need to have that mindset with just how you live your life, though, too. You know, for those boys, they're they're grinding every day on their music and they're living their best life. They're, they got their priorities at a young age and they know what they want and they're going and they're trying to get it and they're giving it their best shot. You know, like they said, they may not be the most talented in the world, but they know where to fit in. They know where to get in to fit in. And I, I believe in those guys. I really, really do. And I think the sky's the limit. And hopefully this uh, podcast age as well. Don't do me wrong, boys. Uh, but I, I just I, I want to commend them. Salute for the bravery of, of just sharing. And not that that's the most brave thing a person can do. There is obviously the, the world is on fire. Like, well, it's not. We have to acknowledge that for obvious reasons. Like there are things that are going on. But when you choose to live your life in a way of trying to make others feel good and being the main character in your romantic love life and being uh, aware of what you're trying to create and stay in the pocket and not trying to solve all of the world's problems every single day and just to what you can't do anything about it and you're just stressed out or you can focus on yourself and you can focus on your art and you can focus on what you're trying to do and a lot of us are stuck and we can't do that and we don't know what our thing is and for some of us it's just grinding and going to work and and doing what we do and taking care of the house and that's fine we we can have that uh but there are some of us out there that instead of doing that we choose to create a lot of us fall flat on our face but uh for the ones that you're are out there and you see them trying uh make sure you're patting them on the back and i think we're getting to a place where we don't need to be ready for that snide comment being made like what happened to the the days of Uh, of just commenting your fellow man and having good things to say about someone else. Not putting the world on blast or society or anything, but we got to be realistic here. And I think there's going to be a lot of people that choose to live in 2019 and choose to live in 2020 and choose to live in a, uh, a place where things are very polarizing and controversial. And, and that's the way it's going to be. And there's nothing that we can really do about it. There is this break in, with 2020 and 2021 where we're now on the other side and you can be inspired and you can choose to go which direction you want to go and you can create what it is that you've always wanted to create even if it's for a little bit even if it's on the side if you have the grace and the patience and the love and the understanding of your family to go do it then do it but not everyone has that dream and i say just keep you know pursuing whatever it is that makes you happy you know if it's farming beats i don't know But all I'm just trying to say is when it comes to what the boys had to say on the podcast, Hotel Ugly, Mike, Chris, big time salute to both you guys and big time. Thank you for sharing on uh, believing in yourself and inspiring others and yourself with romantic love. And you can hear that in your music. And it's um, uh, like I've said in other occasions, too. It's a very eclectic style. It's a very. I don't know. Uh, And I think it's open to a lot of different interpretations that a lot of people can uh, talk about. And I'd love to help be that platform where we can discuss a little bit because everyone has a different vibe to the music, but it's all good vibes. And if they're not on board, they're not on board. They can keep scrolling. That's fine. If they're still with us, for God's sakes, we're in minute 10. And if you're not digging what I'm saying, then geez, Louise, you're miserable. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, boys, keep it coming. I, uh, love the music. I love the vibes and I love the generosity of the time and, um, having the good conversation and we're going to have to do it again. We can follow up on that. We can follow up on, uh, just anything. Um, I know you guys like to talk and, uh, we can open it up on, on just about anything, but, uh, you know, it's, it's gotta, it's gotta fit that same, uh, beach spaghetti vibe. Like last time we got to keep it all good, all positive, all love yeah man i got so much love and respect and i'm so excited to see you guys grow and um you know if uh we we don't see you again don't forget us little people uh when you're up top and uh for the rest of us we're just gonna enjoy a little song called here hang on i'm gonna i'm gonna pause actually i'm gonna pick a good one for everybody okay that that didn't take long at all it's got to be the one that started it all it's called stevie doesn't wonder and it's just good vibes everybody enjoy come on feel so high you've been switching up and telling me lies i've been waiting 
Silhouette, draw your face into my head.